CompTIA Project Plus PK0-005. Practice Exam. Questions 1 through 5. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 1. During a phase gate review, a deliverable is rejected due to misalignment with project requirements. After discussion, the customer agrees to revise requirements and the change is approved. Which of the following documents should the project manager update as a result of this change? The answer is B, change log, project schedule, and risk register. When a deliverable is rejected during a gate review and a scope change is approved, the project manager must first record the change in the change log, ensuring the decision and its details are formally documented. The project schedule should then be updated to reflect any revised timelines or task modifications. In parallel, the risk register must be reviewed and revised to address any new risks or changes to existing ones. Question 2. During the execution phase of a server migration project, the sponsor requests an additional work package be added to address new legal requirements. The project manager approves the scope change and needs to select a tool to track progress and dependencies across tasks, including the new package. Which of the following tools is the most appropriate for this purpose? The answer is A. Gantt chart. A Gantt chart is the most appropriate tool for tracking task progress, timelines, and dependencies across the project, especially when new work is added to the scope. It visually maps out each task along a timeline, making it easy to see how changes affect the overall schedule. This is especially useful in a server migration project where sequencing and duration are critical. While other tools offer insights into issues, risks, or resources, the Gantt chart best supports timeline-based progress tracking. Question 3. During the execution phase of a software implementation project, the project manager notices that the customer service department is hesitant to use the new ticketing platform. This resistance could delay full deployment and affect service quality. Which of the following should the project manager do to better understand the cause and increase user adoption? The answer is B. Train the team and hold feedback sessions to identify concerns. To increase organizational acceptance and address adoption issues, the project manager should engage with users through training and feedback sessions. This helps uncover root causes of resistance, such as unfamiliarity or perceived workflow disruption, and allows for tailored solutions. These actions are core components of organizational change management, which aims to ensure successful transitions and adoption during project execution. Question 4. Following a successful product launch, a project manager distributes a survey to stakeholders to assess how the project was executed and identify areas for improvement. Which of the following closing phase activities would most likely incorporate the results of the survey? The answer is C. Performance Evaluation Surveys collected after a project release help evaluate how effectively the team performed, including communication, execution, and collaboration. This input is used in performance evaluations, which help managers identify strengths, address challenges, and guide improvements for future projects. Question 5. Which of the following is an activity that should be performed during the closing phase to support the project's triple constraint? The answer is D, reconciling the budget. The project triple constraint consists of scope, time, and cost, each affecting the others throughout the project. During the closing phase, reconciling the budget ensures all financials are settled and compared against original estimates and actual expenses. This directly supports the cost portion of the triple constraint and helps evaluate how closely the project stayed within its financial boundaries. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. 
Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more great content.